Hey guys, Kshare here, and we are at the end, folks. We finally got to Setsuna Solo, which is the last of the solos to appear on the third album that will be released in September. So, I don't want to waste any time here. Let's get to it. It's called Like It, Love It. Let's listen to it. Okay, already, this sounds very anime opening to, like, an all-girls slice of life. By the way, that anime opening thing was not a jab at Setsuna because her seiyuu has actually done, um, three anime ending songs and they all slap. Okay, when I say anime opening, maybe it's to like a... to a shoujo rom-com? Because I'm kind of getting... Say I Love You... Oh yeah, also, um, Blue Spring Ride. I got... I've been getting those types of vibes. To make it short, Setsuna, Da Bomb, as always, yes, girl, work. If you haven't guessed by now, um, Setsuna is one of my favorite girls, if not my favorite of the Nijigasaki girls. Okay guys, since this is the last solo that we went over, I'm also going to talk about how I'm going to rank all of the songs, solo songs I mean, that come out for this third album of Nijigasaki. So at number nine, as probably all of you have guessed, I put Analog Heart by Rena. Again, to reiterate from that video, I don't hate this song. I quite enjoy it, but I don't click with it as much as the other songs. I really love Rena's first single. Like I've got I've learned to like actually dance to it and like binge to it more often, but Rena's kind of style or I guess concept of music is kind of off-putting because it kind of reminds me of too much technology EDM that America's been suffering with right now. At number 8th place, I put Fun Genius by I. Now, I want to reiterate that none of these songs were considered bad whatsoever. If you guys were kind of ranting about me putting Rena at last place. It's just, there are some songs that I kind of, um, let slide under my radar more often than the others. And even though Fun Genius by I is a really catchy bop, um, I think her other two singles kind of stick with me more than this one does. Maybe by the time the full song comes out, I'll enjoy it more, but as far as the one minute and a half previews that we have so far, I didn't really do much for me. At number seven, Fairy Tale Star by Kanata. I really, really liked this song because it ties together with this whole Kanata is a sleepy fairy tale princess concept. It really ties it together and I can imagine her becoming more and more famous with this song. There are other songs, again, that click with me better, but I love how this ties together Kanata's concept. In number six place, we got Say Goodbye to Tears by Ayumu. I find it bizarre that I put Ayumu above Kanata of all people because um, her first song, One Step to My Dreams, it was okay. I wasn't a huge giant fan of it. And then um, Blossoming, was it? Blossoming Celebration, Blossoming Declaration, her second single, I thought that song was an improvement. I st still don't listen to that as much, but I thought it was an improvement from the first single. But the third one, this third one, I think it establishes Ayumu as a character a lot more. So instead of being like the shy, well-mannered best friend of all sorts, she actually has a personality of wanting to get out there and be an idol, which I find pretty impressive. In fifth place, we got Margaret by Kasumi. This song is a bop. And to be fair, every song that Kasumi has done so far is a bop. I've been listening to I'm a Believer from the um, 
future Harmony album that's going to come out next week. She She's just been getting better and better and better singing-wise. I still don't like her character as much, but, but with this one, I'm like... She still um, establishes herself as the queen of bops of Nijigasaki. In number fourth place, I put Finally a Single Story by Shizuku. This is where we get into the territory of these songs actually matter the most to me. Shizuku's song really, really got to me when I heard it the first time. Artistically, it starts out slowly as if you're like, it's as if the song was like kind of starting a one of those Disney theme park live shows at at like Disney World, Magic Kingdom, or Disneyland, or any something like that. Like, what it connected me the most was to um, the show at Disneyland called Mickey and the Magical Map. Like, it sort of reminded me of that, and I thought, if Shizuku can get down as like, I don't know, Disneyland Tokyo's mascot or something like that, like how Rena is sort of the Love Live mascot of Sega, I'd be down for that. I'd be 100% down for that. Shizuku is a Disney princess. Yes, I'd be down. So artistically, it's like you're listening to an orchestra classical song that Shizuku threw lyrics into, and it's so perfect. So, so perfect. In third place, we have Song of Sorrow by Emma. Now, ever since this song was released, or at least the preview of it has been released, I've been binging to it constantly. It throws in a bit of the European Switzerland sound that we've been used to, but now, now this time it throws in like traditional Japanese music to kind of accentuate kind of how much of an otaku Emma is. I mean, hence why she's studying abroad in Japan in the first place. Because they chose traditional music for Emma, because we kind of see her character as this almost traditional Swiss girl, like she wears cute dresses and all that whatnot, I think it fits her perfectly. And I can't wait for the full version to come out. I really can't, because I'm probably gonna cry. And in second place, I put down Like It, Love It by Setsuna, because Setsuna is my favorite girl, and... Every single song that she released. Chase, Melody, this one, she does not disappoint. And maybe it's because I'm kind of into the style of a song sounding like anime music, but trust me, not every J-pop single sounds like an opening or, or an ending to an anime. But for this one in particular, it threw me back to when I used to watch um, My Little Monster, Blue Spring Ride, um... You know, just classical, like, early 2010s, late 2000s shoujo ro romance anime. And that touches my heart constantly because romance anime is some of my favorite genres when done right. So Setsuna really marked her place this time. And of course, at number one, I decided to put Firebird by Corinne. If there's anything I love more than anime opening slash ending sounding music, it's anything that sounds like Latina pop. And Corinne made her mark on it. Like, those Spanish guitars. Like, sounds like she's doing the tango salsa or whatever. Because Corinne is the quote-unquote, I guess, sexy type of the group, but instead she actually has a personality, this song suits her completely. Like, it feel it just screams, like, sexiness, but it screams the type of sexiness that Corinne's like, oh, if you think I'm giving everything to you right away, not a chance, because most of it is mine, and I'm allowed to have it. That's the type of woman Corinne is. This song just screams, like, sexy, independent woman, and that is exactly what Corinne is. I mean... Why shouldn't she be? So I'm sorry if this video sounded too quick for me to do a quick review on the last song and then a very quick third album ranking system, but I really enjoyed going through the process of reviewing each of the new Love Life songs at a time. And who knows, maybe this is not the end of the album preview specifically. Maybe a new single is gonna be previewed after this because September is only like, I don't know, 
two and a half months away, or even l like less than two months, like a month and a half, mo more like it. It was just really fun for me to get back into these videos, especially with the whole COVID-19 happening, blah, blah, blah. It inspires me to get back to reviewing music the way I want to do, and hopefully with more um, music reviews, I can do it in this reaction slash, like, discussion while I just listen to it type style, and not much so the um, planned out scripted review style. Because I'll confess, I really like the style much better, and if you guys think so too, you can hit the like button and in you can comment um, whatever style that you like in the comments below. Like, please give me some feedback. I insist. And if you guys have not done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be one of the first to see my, my new videos, hit the notification bell because you are guaranteed that all my videos will be there in your notification box. I'm Kate Sharon. It's been real. Ciao!